Hey y'all, out here at uh, 2016 Cavalcade of Cool at Auctions America Park in Auburn, Indiana. And I got a 49 F1 Ford running a 429 big block slam to the ground, real patina. I think y'all are gonna love it. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Ross, thanks for bringing the truck out, brother. Yeah, absolutely. Tell me a little bit about it. It's a 1949 Ford. Uh, it's got the original frame still underneath it. Uh, fully boxed it all in, uh, did big block Ford. Uh, C6 trans with a shift kit, uh, upgraded parts, all that good stuff. He didn't really do anything to the body. No, it's all pretty much how it was when I got it. Cut uh, a hole in the fender, run the exhaust out. Yep, you electric cut cutouts. Out. Yeah, yes, how sir. Cool is that man? No, and it's real patina. Oh yeah, it's yeah. not painted. Right. And then is that uh, Jack Speed Shop? Is that where you work or you own? That's uh, yep. I'm the owner operator. Uh, I just went out on my own about. Uh, Two months I went full time with doing it. I've kind of had the business for about seven months or so to a year doing hot rods and muscle cars. Well, I love how you made the exhaust came out on one side like that. That yeah. is very cool, man. Absolutely. And if people want to get in touch with you, is you have a website or anything? Yeah. Uh, I've, I'm pretty much on social media. I haven't built a website yet. I'm, that's on the list of to do's, you know, sure. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Yeah. Yep. All right, cool. And how do they how do they find that if they're looking for you? Uh, just Jack Speed Shop. Everything is hashtag Jack Speed Shop or at Jack Speed Shop. It's all one word uh, on Instagram at least. Dude, that is way cool. And then you, I'm guessing that you went ahead and did your trim. You yep. painted that Powder black. Powder coated right, all. Right, right. Boy, black. nice touch. And those wheels, tell me about those. What size uh, are they? Detroit steel wheel, uh, 20 by uh, nine and a half. Uh, the back's offset. The, the center set in a little bit. Sure is. So, so they're twenties all the way around. Yes, sir. By nine and a half. Yep. Okay. Actually, they're a little wider in the back. I think they're ten and a half. Wow, it's nice in here, man. Very yep. nice. I like it. The flat paint. Yep. The gauge cluster you did. Yep. Dude, nice work. I even like the little box you did. Yeah. Right. You did that all of aluminum, yep. right? Yeah. Oh, no. Handmade. Out of pistons. That we made them. We machined them with rings in them, so it kind of gives that look yeah. of a, you know. A, like a piston right. sitting upside down. Yeah, how cool is that? <laughs> I love this bench seat too, yeah. man. With the aluminum frame and all. Yeah, it's dude. It came together. It sure did, man. No doubt about it. And this hot, this look is so hot right now. Oh, and yeah. this is this is just a, like the prime example of getting it right, man. Yep. I like that you uh, use what looks like bed liner on the floor. Yep. And then bed put liner. rubber mats on. Yep. And yeah. the hook, all that. All I that still want to do Dynamat down the road, but right. You're going to leave the Dynamat exposed then? Uh, I want to do like a, uh, a burlap oh, headliner okay. and trim it off. Right. And just, but yeah. Dude, you're on your way, man. You have got a cool truck going. Thanks. Yeah. Dude, this truck is amazing. You know, I mean, it's got that rough, rugged look on the outside, but look it up underneath here. Tell me what you got going on. It's a Ford 9 inch with a posi track, a uh, little triangulated four link suspension. Um, had uh, AccuAirs all hidden up underneath the frame. I mean, it's all clean and clear. I've got a, a valve or a airline connector on there, so if I can need to fill tires or any of that stuff, I got hoses in the truck to put tires, run You're air tools, kidding. any of that stuff. Holy smokes, it's like a shop truck. It is, man. Yeah, That's like what? a pit truck. Exactly. And then you beefed up the frame and yep. all, too. Those are water jetted out pieces of uh, steel. That way, I didn't just do a standard step notch and I've got a two inch receiver on the back with a brake controller and I can haul a 30 foot enclosed shop trailer and cars in it and just cruise down the road. Dude, that is just awesome, man. And anytime I see a Ford, I'm always fingers crossed it's got a Ford in it and you didn't disappoint. Not only does it have a Ford, but it's got a big block Ford in it. That's right. Tell me a little bit about all this. It's a 429, came out of a uh, 71 Mercury Cyclone and uh, put a cam in it. Uh, I built the motor all myself, electric water pump, timing, uh, I did a gear set on it so it sounds like it's got a blower, but uh, then I just did the aluminum radiator and custom headers, the exhaust is custom all the way from the heads back. So, Dude, and a firewall and the inner fenders. Yep, I just smoothed it up, you know, I didn't get nuts with it and completely, I just welded the whole shut, did the body work on it, and painted it to match the wheels. Dude, you're the man. You are absolutely the man. How good is that? That is so nice, man. You know, I mean, I, and you know, I shoot Riddler cars, I shoot all the stuff, but yep. I'm telling you, I appreciate good work, and I always say cool is cool, yep. and brother, that is cool. Thanks, man. 
So there you go, 49 F1 from the 2016 Cavalcade of Cool in Auctions America Park in Auburn, Indiana. You gotta love that, man. That is just way cool. See ya.